Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Stealth Race VTX uh, from Furious FPV along with the Bluetooth module and actually get it working on the um, app on your phone to be able to do adjustments and everything. So we'll go ahead and power this up and get right into it. Plug in your LiPo. Let that power up. And you'll notice on the module you have your their both lights are green, uh, solid, and then that's uh, a waiting connection. Now, we'll go ahead and move over to the phone, um, and right, um, move over to the phone. So here, when you're actually on the phone, you can go ahead and go to the Imagination Configuration app. Um, and as I say, you can find this in the, uh, the App Store um, for Android or also on um, iOS, it is available. So once you're on that menu, you go ahead and hit Pair Device. And uh, PY, I don't know what that one is, uh, no, no. So it'd be Stealth Race, that's mine. So as soon as you go into it, um, if you're setting it up for the first time, it will ask you for your uh, password. Okay, so here we have it on right now. And uh, as you can see on the main menu, you have racing, freestyle, save channel, and profile. When you actually go in a profile, you have your name. So you can actually name your video transmitter, whatever you want. Your password, so you can change it if there's going to be several other people using it. You don't want them messing with your settings. You go ahead and change it from the stock uh, six zeros. Um, when you actually go into the main menu, so you'll have, uh, like I said, racing, freestyle, save channel. Save channel is all your favorites. Um, racing and freestyle are two different. On the racing, you only have uh, 25 milliwatt. That's it. Um, and these are the race band channels. So you will have, oh, so if we go back, I switch, switched off to. Um, freestyle so on racing you have 25 milliwatt up top you have your channel you have your frequency um, then right here you have your actual channel to where you set it um, and the corresponding frequency on that um, now the start and stop button uh, right here is to start and stop your video transmitter um, set button is to actually write your settings and then you have your pit mode you can change your startup to pit mode to normal po nor no power or normal so on no power you have to hit start and actually start it up um, before uh, it actually gets any power so you can go ahead and stop it just to make sure it stays uh, cool and then when you set it you can write everything uh, protection I leave it on just to make sure that you don't have any issues with it um, overheating if it does overheat it'll turn off um, so it doesn't cause any issues with it. <clears throat> now, I leave it, like I said, on stop, so it's just not running, um, and protection on. If you do want to uh, write something, you can go ahead and go to whatever channel it is you may want. So let's say you want R2. You go ahead and hit set, and you'll notice up here, it has changed to R2. So now you have your modes right there, your channel, and um, everything saved. If you wanted to go ahead and change to R7 or back to R1, you'd hit set, and there it is. And you'd go ahead of that. So, let's see, let's go back to freestyle. If you wanna go to freestyle, you have the selection to select 25 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt. So, if you wanted to set 200, and then you wanted to change it to say R8, or A1, or B1 or E1, whatever it is, you can go ahead and scroll through all your frequencies. And it will scroll back around, so you'll go from uh, R to A, B, E, F, and then back up to R. So if you wanted to set R8 at say 25 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt, you'd hit set. And now the power would be set channel R8, that at frequency, but we're gonna go ahead and change it back to 25 just to make sure I don't have any issues here. Hit set. And it is set back to R1 at 25 milliwatt. And you can go ahead and start your VTX, which will start transmitting power, or you can stop it. Now, uh, the LED flash code is if it's flashing, it's operating, which you'll notice this light right here, um, and that it's actually linked. And 
on the module, you'll just see it solid. It doesn't do much. Whatever the LEDs that actually show notifications are the ones on the um, BTX itself. But this is for the freestyle menus, I guess, and you can go through um, 200 milliwatt or 25 milliwatt, as well as full bands from the R1s all the way A, Bs, Es, Fs, and back over. Um, then again, you can start and stop your VTX, which is what it does for power. Uh, set, which will set your actual, uh, the power, the band channel, once you choose it. And then pit mode, again, no power or normal for how it starts up. I started in pit mode, so it's, just, it's still transmitting, but very, very low. Um, and you'll notice the heat's actually here. So it's not, tr it's uh, keeping low, otherwise it'd be it'd pretty much be getting hard really damn quick. So as I said, that's why you, you hit stop on that one. You hit stop here just to let it stop and then start it after um, you're running it. Um, now if we go over to the save channels, uh, save channels you'll see you have your power, what it's actually uh, uh, actively on, you'll have your power, your channel, and your frequency, as well as your channel. So these are the, the um, saved ones. Uh, save channels and it shows you these are the ones that are saved at 25 milliwatts <clears throat> and then you can go ahead and save channels if you wanted to at 200 milliwatts or whatever um, that way you can just set R7 and then go ahead and set it and it'll already be it'll show up and change right away um, this thing is very easy to use it makes it really simple to actually uh, start messing around with things um, and for it to have the profile uh, make it easy to just come in, as I said, um, go into racing, set your power, if it's already at 25 milliwatt or freestyle, and you can go ahead and set it to your 200, fully unlock it, start it, and then you're ready to go. It's easy as that. Once you're done with it, you can go ahead and um, unplug this or leave it as is. That's really up to you. Um, but that's the Bluetooth uh, module along with the Stealth Race VTX and the uh, Bluetooth module for it as well. Um, very, very exciting to be able to actually do this with your phone and not have to deal with um, if you don't have a Tyrannus. And it's honestly after using the Betaflight LUA and um, this, it's, I don't know how the hell I was clicking buttons for so long. It annoys the hell out of me. So, I mean, this is a big plus for beginners, for somebody that might be like using a DX6 or something from Spectrum and still wants to have the capability to see physically what channel they're setting to without having any uh, guesswork. Um, and you can go ahead and set it, and pretty much leave it at that, go fly, uh, worry-free. That's the configuration assistant, the imagination configurator from Furious FPV, along with the Stealth Race VTX. Um, I think that's going to honestly change the game for uh, FPV and hopefully other uh, manufacturers follow, but this thing is awesome. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.